evaluation system. Anyway, I think there are a lot of opportunities, and I'd be curious if using about using technology to find out where is it happening really, you know, where is it where is it happening in a really good way, where our local school council is feeling very very good about their you know their roles and, and what's happening. I would say one thing. I think the vagueness associated with how people do things in LSCs is also a strength because you can organize and you can create things within the structure. The LSC, the first thing we did at the first year, I think what happens is things happen at a school which radicalize parents to run. And it's usually at some level and you get a group, a group of parents at the particular school I was at, became radicalized, we all ran. and. Uh, we got in there and the first thing we did was form a technology committee for the school mm. and it was a LSC committee so it was officially ordained but then we collected the parents that didn't want to deal with all the rest of the um, all the rest of the uh, associated administrivia of being on the LSC and wanted to focus on technology and that was a separate committee and the one strength, I think, that came out of that, and now I'm not on that, so I actually have no kids at that school anymore. This continues, but what's good about it is we established a policy of doing a three-year technology plan. And every year, the three-year technology plan gets updated. And that continues now because, you know, everyone in this room that has sits on an LSC knows that doesn't appear CPS has a three-year plan of any kind in any dairy, in any area, anywhere. But your school, you need to have those plans, and especially around technology. That's, you know, it's something. Every if you're sitting on an LSC right now and you don't either have a technology officer or you don't create a committee, because I don't know of any schools that don't have some small clique of techie parents mm -hmm. that would jump at the opportunity to come in and be a part of that committee if they don't have to do the rest of the stuff. <laughs> um, that's a recommendation to everybody about how to improve the technologies at your school. Can you talk about the rules associated with that? It, like you said that it was a, it was a, some sort of official subcommittee of the LSC? Yeah, the LSC can create all the committees that it wants. All you have to do is publicly put it on the agenda and vote and it passes. And the chair, the committees have to be run in, for the Open Meeting Act. Open Meeting Act, it has to be run for the Open Meeting Act in exactly the same way as the regular meetings. But that's not a burden, in my opinion. It just amounts post an agenda, post 48 hours in advance, and keep meeting notes, and then that just has to be reported back up to the LSC. And we actually had, you know, tremendous engagement from parents on the development of the technology plan. And it was all about curricular technology implementation, but also infrastructure questions. Back six years ago, getting broadband in the schools. I know there's several, couple of people in the industry here getting broadband into all the different schools. was well, not easy. And the way they did it was they, you had to pay a per device fee. So, you know, as you tried to implement bringing in iPads or something like this, if you didn't get a grant, you suddenly were whacked with all of these IP addresses that you had to pay. So it was good to have resources around that. I think that just came this year. It did just change this year. The per year. device, the per device, device fee device just changed this year. Didn't have to pay that. Wow. It also sounds like about what you're saying though is that once you set up these things, they just kind of become habit and they don't go away. So then it kind of becomes part of the format. If good, good. That's the same way with good practice <laughs> and bad practice. Yeah. Both, both yeah. become habit. I, th I think the challenge with that is it requires some continuity between the administration and the LSE to get started. And as Jill pointed out, officially the LSE has three powers. The CIWP, the principal evaluation, and the budget. So technology is theoretically outside those realms. You can, you can certainly, make the, cer certainly make the argument you need to pay for computers and the L a good LSE would say, hey, what's the plan for technology if we're going to approve budget? But well, it requires the principal to be... I. My craft and willing. Having been on enough LSCs that are both functional and dysfunctional, uh, an LSC you have to you have to go into it with the idea that you're going to work in a partnership with the administration of the school, and if you don't, you're dead. 